Greetings, young student. It is I, the Dark Knight of Gotham, Batman. I have heard of your struggles with your math homework, and I am here to assist you. Don't worry. With my guidance, you'll be able to conquer any math problem that comes your way. Now let's get started. First things first, let me tell you a little secret. When I was your age, I used to struggle with math too. But then I realized that math is just like fighting crime. You need to approach it with a strategic mindset and always be prepared for the unexpected. Let's start with some basic arithmetic. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. They're the foundation of all crime fighting. You see, just like how I need to add up the clues to catch the bad guys, you need to add up the numbers to solve the problem. But sometimes, the problem can be a little tricky, and it might require some unconventional methods to solve. That's when you need to think outside of the box, just like how I use my gadgets to outsmart my enemies. For example, if you're stuck on a multiplication problem, you could try drawing a picture of the objects being multiplied, or even using Legos to build a visual representation. But what if you're dealing with fractions? Those can be a real pain in the utility belt. Well, fear not, my young ward. Fractions are just like villains. They may seem complicated, but once you understand their weaknesses, they're easy to defeat. Just remember to find the common denominator, and you'll be able to add, subtract, multiply, or divide them with ease. Now let's move on to algebra. This is where things start to get a little more complex, but don't worry, I've got your back. Algebra is like solving a mystery. You need to figure out what the variables represent and then use equations to solve for them. It's just like how I use detective work to solve crimes. But sometimes, the equations can get pretty long and complicated, and you might feel like you're drowning in a sea of variables. That's when you need to stay calm and focused, just like how I stay calm and focused when I'm facing down the Joker. Take it one step at a time, and remember to use the order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And if you're feeling stuck, you could always try using a bat signal to call for backup. Maybe your teacher or a classmate could lend a hand. Finally, let's talk about geometry. Ah, geometry, the bane of many a student's existence. But fear not, my young student. Geometry is just like navigating the streets of Gotham. You need to know your angles and shapes in order to get where you're going. Remember the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared? That's like the bat signal. It's always there to guide you when you're lost. But the most important thing to remember when dealing with geometry is to stay calm and focused. Just like how I stay calm and focused when I'm dangling from a skyscraper. Now it's time for me to don my cape and help my dear friend Robin with his math homework. He still hasn't quite figured out the bat equation for determining the velocity of my bat plane. But never fear. Together we will find the solution and save the day. Stay vigilant, my young apprentice, and never forget the power of math in the fight against evil.